Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. If you've created a member area inside your Squarespace website, you'll have the ability to create an account login text link that's listed at the top of your website. However, that text link is super boring and I wanted to customize it with code. So that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you how to do in this specific tutorial. We're going to use some really creative CSS to give it a border, a background color, a hover effect, and I'll even teach you how to add content. On my own website, I have the actual link say student login, and I'll teach you exactly how I created that with code. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look. So here we are on my actual live website for the member area I have in Squarespace at customcodeacademy.com. The only way you're gonna see the login text on the top right is if you have an active member area. So that's why we're actually using my live site instead of my demo site here. So the codes I'm using are listed right here. And what I'm gonna do is hop into custom CSS and show you how they work. So you'll understand what aspect of them you're gonna to wanna to change. So we're gonna hop into design and then scroll down to custom CSS. I definitely recommend putting this code in your custom CSS panel because that login option up there is going to be visible on every page on your site. So make sure it's in your custom CSS panel, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the code that I have here so you'll see what this text link looks like without this additional CSS. Pretty boring, right? Let's go ahead and make that fancy with some custom code. This first line right here is how I added the word student before login. So I'm gonna add that code right here. Again, this is listed in the description below. And all this is telling the browser is when you see that user accounts text link, before that, I want you to add this content. Instead of student, you could have it say client login, spelled correctly. There we go. You'll notice any text that I add is going to be before the text login. If you want the text to be after, you can totally do that too. You can say login client or login or as student, whatever you're comfortable with. I prefer it to say student login, so that's what I've got there. All right, now next up, I wanted to style it like an actual button. So this right here is the line of code that I used. I made everything uppercase, I gave it a border, and I gave it a little bit of padding. Let's take a look at this code together. I'll scroll back up here and I'll paste it right here in custom CSS. And now we see it looks a lot more like a button. So if we remove the padding, you'll notice that the border gets really close to the text. I didn't like that very much. So this says give me 0.5 padding on the top and bottom and one REM to the left and the right. That's the same font size that I'm using for the text there, so I liked the look of that. And I also gave it a border, a solid uh, teal border that's at 2px. We can also give it a background color if you want to stand out a little bit more. Let's say we want to use that light blue color that I love. There we go. We can even make the font bold if we want to. I'll say font weight bolder and check it out. It stands out even more. Now, last but not least, I think that all buttons should have some kind of hover effect. That's one of my favorite things to code. So this last line of code actually changes the background color and the text color. So it looks different on a hover. That's why we have the word hover right there. So I'm gonna copy this code and we'll scroll up and let's go ahead and add this to our custom CSS. And now when I hover over this button, the background color changes and so does the font color. Pretty cool, right? Now that I've added this to my site-wide CSS, I'll select save and anywhere that login button shows up on my website, it'll now say student login, have a unique color, unique border and a hover effect. Alrighty, that's it for this super quick tutorial. And again, the codes I shared are listed in the description below, but get creative with your own hover effects, changing colors and borders and all kinds of fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and comment below if you did and subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.